What is up guys? Welcome to today's video. I hope you guys are doing good. Hope you guys are doing well. Ah, I didn't plan much else past the intro. <laughs> Today is a very slow day. Uh, Indy and I both just came off working night shift. So it was a really late start to the day and pretty much everything I've planned to do, there's a good chance it's not gonna get done today. So, but we do have some good news on some things in particular. Um, first of all, as you can kind of tell, the uh, fuel system hasn't arrived yet, but I don't know. It, it said that it was in Canberra this morning, so I don't know why it didn't arrive this morning, but we should have that Monday. And then on even bigger news, Specialty Composites has finished the hat. They sent me these last three photos, like here, here, and here. Um, and the hat right now is up in the sky somewhere flying from America over here to Australia. And the shipping says that it should be here by Thursday next week. So hopefully that should be here, I don't know, relatively soon. I am so freaking keen because then we can really start to get like the engine ready and all the big cool stuff. But yeah, I also ordered some uh, proper wrap for the trim pieces that are going on the back. So I might whack them on now. One of, one of the things that made it so difficult to wrap them before was the fact that like, I was trying to do it by holding them. Like it's so much easier to wrap stuff on the car because when you have to pull and stretch and fight against it, it just works so much better when it's actually anchored to something. So I bolt them onto the car and everything. It'd be so much easier to wrap them. Um, I did just go with the black, the same black I did have the roof in of the old wagon, so black with a little bit of gold flake. It's just really classy. And then I'm also, these bits just here because they're like a little bit scratched, a little bit scuffed. Like they're just not looking the freshest, so I'll wrap these pillars just here as well and everything should look shamek. So I was talking to Tim about, um, cause like one of the goals was going to be today uh, to uh, start mocking up the, uh, the false floor to go in where the spare wheel well is. So pretty much what the uh, idea is of getting with this is pretty much just like a two mil thick sheet metal that will cover this whole entire area and it should pretty much to just seal it so that rubber and God forbid fire can't get up into the cabin, especially with 90 liters of methanol sitting right here. The, the, the 94 liter tank will be massive. There is a good chance that it'll probably come close to actually being able to mount on the actual surface of the car, not the false floor that we're putting in. So then there's a good chance there'll be next to no weight actually sitting on the floor that we put in. But you can see like the spare wheel takes up most of the room. So I might, just for the sake of it, yeah, cause that's flat. Over here is flat. I might just do the whole thing to take up, literally go from here all the way to here. And then I'll have to rip all this stuff out. I'm going to put like some metal sheeting on the back of these seats. Um, just because like, obviously we got a fuel flammable like liquid and then we've got like the carpet back seats. I don't want obviously to soak up methanol if there's ever a spill or if there's a fire, I don't want it to be as flammable there. And then around the cell, I want to build like just, just a huge big like sheet plate shield that'll literally just quickly bolt over the top. Again, just so that there's some sort of a firewall between uh, the cabin and the cell itself. Because God forbid, I would hate for there to be a fire. Not only if I was in the driver's seat, but especially if someone was in the back seats here. I just want to make it so that there's something to contain it so that there was time for us to get out of the car or get it extinguished. And yeah, so we will have the entire flat floor there with the sh with a shield of some sort that'll go over it. And then, yeah, I'm gonna make most of this like fire retardant anyways, just because, yeah, it doesn't seem like it's a smart idea to be having like the carpeted back seats facing a what could be a flammable area. And it actually works really well too because I was talking to Tim and he was talking to one of his fab mates and he was saying that if we're going to uh, just bolt in the false floor and then have a seal around it, um, don't just bolt into like sheet metal, like what's what's just here kind of thing. Try and get it into some actual metal so that's gonna bite, like if it's double layered or on the on the chassis rails or something, like or on the frame rails or something like that. So looks like if we're especially if we're going off like just through here or just through here. We've got the frame rail just here to go through. So we'll nuts it all of that in and it should be perfect and it should fit in there quite nicely. So even with the ugly wrap still on it, I'm gonna lean over and just chuck these wires in through there. All right, I'll chuck in the rest of these little nuts and then we'll peel that wrap off, that ugly ass wrap. Looks more like a tailgate now, even though it's ugly chrome on the back there, but actually looks more complete, which is nice. And now I'll rip off this masterpiece. Oh, that is difficult. Oh, 
Nice, leaving behind a little bit of glue too. That's always, always lovely. There we go, we can uh, regain our title of successful car building YouTuber because we put on those trim pieces. So back to professional car builder status. It's funny, with, with the channel growing and with the more and more subscribers that we're constantly getting, um, with, especially all you new guys, welcome to the channel. Thanks, thanks for joining the picnic and being here for the build. But obviously with along with more like more subscribers and more of you legends coming along, of course you get a couple more haters and everything. And I find it funny that like, they, they always pick on the fact that like, I'm not a professional or I don't know what I'm doing. And the only thing I have to say to that is, I am no professional. And if it looks like I don't know what I'm doing, it's because I have absolutely freaking no idea what I'm doing. I'm just having a go at this. I'm just giving it my best shot. And yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing with half of this stuff. It's, it's the first time I've done most of this stuff. A lot of this stuff I don't, like you don't get much help with or much guidance. You just kind of wing it and just go for it. Um, so yeah, like I, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just some kid trying to build a car and trying to have fun while doing it and filming it and uploading it. So I know I'll always get criticism for it because there's probably, I'm probably doing things wrong with certain, like certain things and all that stuff. But, but yeah, I'm just giving it a go, just trying to have fun with it. Um, but yeah, I just find it so, so amusing how so many people get so aggressive and so angry over the fact that I'm not a professional for some reason, just because I decide to upload videos to YouTube. It must mean that I am a professional. And yeah, with like the people that like, they, they pick up on the, in some videos, I don't do ma massive stuff to the car. Like I'm not a car builder. I'm just assembling some crap that I've got kind of thing. And then doing like daily, well not daily vlogs, but like day in a life type vlogs along with it. So not every video is going to be a massive installation on something. I just really enjoy coming on here and chilling with you guys and like just conversing back and forth. And I know a lot of you guys dig that. But yeah, and yeah, we're not like these massive, rich, famous YouTubers that have like a million subscribers and millions and millions of views. So we can afford to just go out and buy all these big fancy things to put on the car. Like it's a grind, it's a struggle. Like we, we still don't 100% know if the car is gonna make it for some of that slam or not, but hell, we're gonna freaking push for it. And we're gonna try and get it, get it done as hard as we possibly can. And some days it is hard to get motivation to, to continue building a car. There's, there's so much more we have to do, but like I've never been more motivated in my life. And this is literally my dream right here to be building this car. So I'm gonna try as freaking hard as I can work endlessly to try and get it done because at the end of the day i'm not just coming on here and just making a like i am just talking shit for a lot of the videos but it's it's a, it's a lot more deeper than that there's there's always work going on in the background i not only spend 40 hours a week working nights and security but i also spend at least 40 hours a week trying to get stuff organized with picnic i'm not only not only trying to run a youtube channel and trying to build it and be successful and commit to that but I've also got, say, like the clothing as well, like trying to build a brand as well. So, so I'm doing like three jobs kind of thing all by myself and I love it. It is awesome and it is so fun to do and I, I wouldn't change a thing for it, but it's a lot on, on, it's a lot for one person's plate to kind of handle. But yeah, so I, I get a lot of people always asking like pretty much like what I do and how I afford this stuff. And I guess I just kind of like work my ass off for it and grind and that's just what what you need to do and i always speak to maddie from gearheads oz and he agrees like he does the same thing like he works uh, i'm pretty sure he's like a truck driver delivering milk and he does it in the weirdest hours and it would i, I couldn't picture doing it because it would absolutely kill me and he he pushes himself and goes crazy with it so that he can also push and have a youtube channel and it's it's just those small things that we do to push and grind um to try and make this happen because i know just like just like myself he is extremely motivated and wants to like we're not in this just to have money or try and be rich and try and be famous like i want to do this so that i can enjoy my life building fun cars and sharing it with you guys um, and sometimes it's a slow process. Sometimes it's not the most exciting thing ever. And I know that a lot of you legends are here for every step of the way and every little fun bit, every little slow bit, every exciting bit, every boring bit. And I appreciate the hell out of every one of you guys. And even though some days are slow, it's still the most exciting time of my life being able to say that I'm building this and being able to document it and put it online. So heck, in years to come down the track, I can re-watch all this and relive this. So it's not just a memory, I can physically actually go back and watch it all. And that really excites me. That 
that's half the fun of building this entire castle so that we can come back in the future and re-watch all this stuff. But yeah, I feel like that's enough of the like the mumbo jumbo, like boring motivational crap. I'm no motivational speaker. I'm not, not trying to tell everyone that they need to go out there and chase their dream. Well, yeah, I am telling you, you need to go out and chase your dream. Like you only, you're only, like, as dumb as it sounds, you only live once, so you may as well do something you want. And if that means a little bit of sacrifice and a little bit of push, you guys should do it. Because if you told me at the start of the year that I'd be building my dream burnout car, I, I would have told you, I, I would have laughed at you. I wouldn't have thought it was possible, but look, we're almost there. We're almost there. So it is definitely worth the push. And especially, I know there's a lot of guys watching this that um, want to start their own YouTube channel. And they always, call, they always say they don't have content or they don't have time. Just get out there. Just start filming. Just start doing shit. If you watch all of our first videos on the channel, a lot of them are really bad, but it's just, just getting your foot in the door and actually just starting. That's the only way you're going to learn. It's the only way you're going to get better. You just freaking just get into it and just start doing it even if you don't know what to film like like we had nothing to film in the starting days but we still push through and we just i don't know you just film random crap and you just talk to the camera kind of like what i'm doing now again that's like i'm not trying to be some crazy motivational speaker or anything like that i just really enjoy like trying to like talk to you guys and help you guys and especially with the guys that want to build youtube channels and or build cars or wonder how i do this or it's 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 not nothing it's nothing rocket science i'm not not breaking any codes or doing anything crazy. And if you guys do want videos on how I started the YouTube channel, how I got I got all the subscribers we've got now, or how I got this car, or how we got to where we were, or how to build brand relationships, or how to like approach sponsors, things like that. But yeah, I'm gonna wrap up this video here. Uh, in Monday's video, it should, should, fingers crossed, hopefully start getting a bit, a bit more into the building stuff because we should have the fuel system. Um, all the fuel lines, I, think I can explain what we're doing, how it's gonna go. Um, we'll start looking into the front tanks, then we get, yeah, it, it'll, it'll slowly start coming together once we've actually got most of the stuff together. So next week should should start to get a lot better. So I'll catch you guys in the next one, which will be Monday at 6 p.m. Uh, we, and we should have the fuel system to start playing with. Um, and then also, yeah, next week the injector hatch should be here. So then we can start playing with the engine too. So yeah, so that's where I'm gonna wrap up this one. Um, I'll catch you guys in the next one, which will be Monday at 6 p.m. Be there or be square. Alrighty, guys. Peace. I've been in thugging, you bitching and bugging. There's nothing that we got in common. I've been out grinding and hustling, investing this paper. Got tired of eating that ramen. All of my music be heat. I ain't missing a beat. I've been blessed with impeccable timing. Watch all them people who friendly. It turn into envy whenever they see that you shining. Okay, I'm.